Here we are again with another anime reaction and this time with Rent-A-Girlfriend Season 2. I watched Rent-A-Girlfriend Season 1 when it came out, which I think was late 2020, so it's almost two years since Season 1 came out. And many people didn't like it because, to be blunt, Kazuya is an idiot. <laughs> um, but I think it was funny, I had a good time watching it, and I want to see where this whole chaos is going. Because you have Ruka, who is interested in, or who loves Kazuya, but Kazuya isn't really that much interested in her, because he has more eyes for Shizuru, but Shizuru is not really interested in him, at least she is not honest that she has some feelings for him. And then there's Mami, who is like, pretty evil, but still Kazuya gets weak for her sometimes and is interested in her again, so it's pure chaos. And yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment, I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Hello, so we just start with reintroductions of the characters, I guess. She has a gun? Holy shit! <laughs> Lumi. Yeah, I wonder if she also will be interested in him and wants to be his girlfriend at some point. I think not, but I guess we will see if she also gets, like, interested in him. Okay. Here we go. Episode 1. And straight into the intro. Indeed, at some point you have to. But at that point, they are probably a couple for real. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's, I guess, the obvious thing, right? That Shizuru and Kazuya become, like, the couple at the end. I, I would be surprised if that's not how it turns out. That the grandma would be like, yeah, you messed it up, right? You had this awesome girlfriend and you messed it up that she leaves you. Okay, she gets a new job. I mean, that's the whole point that that's why she's doing the rent girlfriend thing so that she gets money for it mm -hmm. princess Aosagi? <laughs> security here's a crazy man get him and he buys all of the pictures <laughs> Give me the pictures. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a tough life, right? Going to college to get education, doing a side job to get some money to live in all, all while chasing your dream job would be too much work for me. <laughs> doing so many things, things at once. Who's this? Oh? Is this maybe him? Oh, Sumi! She's also watching it. Let's see what she can do. Yo! <laughs> really? He thought she would be the princess? He's just here for her. Everything else doesn't matter. Just give me Shizuru. Shizuru. Oh, that's him? Oh, damn. <laughs> ah, there she is. <laughs> He's shocked. The slang. <laughs> he gets embarrassed watching her. The people love it. And he's like, oh shit. She's actually good. They love her. Awesome. I mean, that's part of the job, right? You have to be able to, to act in front of a crowd. I couldn't do this in front of a crowd. I'm really bad when it comes to like being in front of people. All plan part of the plan. I would look too. I would be like, awesome. Of course, dramatic end. 
no theater play without a dramatic end. <laughs> Well, we will see how that turns out. Will she get the attention of the uh, director or regisseur? I can't speak. It was the best. They loved it. Secret training. No, no, just practice. I just do my job. Okay, they seem confident that she impressed enough. Have no regrets. I mean, that's true. Right? You have to do your best. So that you can leave the stage without looking back and be like, man, I could have done it better. Oh, no. Everyone is like, Shizuhara. Shizuru is the best and here the other girl gets it. <laughs> that must suck, dude. all these notes she gets really into it i mean even when she does her rent job she gets really into it like for kazuya she got a book about fishes because he liked fish yeah but now it seems like it's further away since she didn't got the recognition recognition <laughs> Cultured. And they bump into each other. <laughs> I'm just here by coincidence. Oh, damn. <laughs> Idiot! Can he cheer her up? Probably, I would guess. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to be an expert to see if someone... I mean, yeah, you need to be an expert, but I mean, even as, like, someone with no experience, you can, like, tell if someone does good or is absolutely bad. And he knows how much it means to her. Yeah. No! Oh, that sucks that she thinks that she lacks talent. And that's why she didn't get chosen. Come on, Kazuya. Say something. So much text, I can't read it all. <laughs> Holy shit. Lots of text very fast. And this really hit her heart. That she thinks now that she's really bad. Come on, girl. Let's go, Kazuya. <laughs> That's what he comes up with. I rent you. More shifts so that I can rent you more often. So that you get more money. For your dream. That's some dedication. <laughs> and he goes all out. Verbal assault. <laughs> Non-stop. 60 hit combo. God damn, dude. Boy spit some boss. Because I love you. Because I want you to be happy. I want you to, su to succeed with your dream. He has good moments. But he has really bad moments too. <laughs> I guess that's not helping her much. Hey, I got the role you wanted because you were there. Thanks. <laughs> Rubbing some salt in the wound. I mean, she maybe doesn't know, but still. And so many notes. So much work and effort. Probably because it was also one of the best chances, probably. Because it was a famous guy. And he choose the other girl. Directly, immediately, ran to the date. <laughs> Booking her for the whole week. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I 
man. This art style, man, is... In these shots, it's, like, so good. How good it's drawn. Okay, that was episode 1 of Rent Girlfriend Season 2. And, yeah, it was a very slow episode, I would say. Kinda uneventful. Because at the beginning, you had, like, the introduction of all the characters again. At least the girls. Which was, like, what? Two, three minutes? And then the intro, which was, like... Roughly one and a half minutes. So that so that's like already like four or five minutes. And then you had this long play in the middle of the episode, which what was maybe like half the episode, it felt like. Um But yeah, it pretty much like reconfirms again that Shizuru is really into the whole becoming an actress thing and wants to do it and you saw that she puts a lot of effort into it by getting really into the character, taking notes and everything, writing everything down, what's important about the character, what makes the character and everything. And, I mean, we already saw that she gets really into character and tries the hardest when it comes to that stuff with her rent job. Um, because when we remember remember the first episode of season one, when she went to with Kazuya to a aquarium, she bought a book about fish because he likes fish and was interested in fish, so th that she's like more knowledgeable about it. Not because she was interested in it, just because she wants to prepare for the date, <clears throat> the rented date. Um, and that's basically like the same, right? She has to put up an act basically to fit the customer, the person that rents her, so that he has a good experience. So, because that's the whole point, right? Um, that he has a good experience. So that she can get money from it, so that they come back to her because they enjoyed her time, uh, the time with her, um, and yeah, this basically just showed a lot again, like how much she gets into that and how much she wants to be an actress, and then it's like yeah, everyone was like, man, you are great, you were the best, you were the focus, you were the star, and then suddenly someone else gets the role. And it just sucks when stuff like that happens in real life, too. And it can get you really down because you put so much effort into it. And she also had, like, don't, like, leave the stage and have no regrets. Um, or don't have regrets on the stage or whatever. Um, on her book, to remind herself that she should give her all and then... Stuff like that happens and it really dragged her down to the point that she's like, man, I'm I'm talentless, I'm bad, and all that stuff. And then comes our boy Kazuya out of nowhere, left field, gives her a 60-hit combo of, no, you're great, and I do whatever I can to support you so that you can make your dream your reality. And because he really likes her... Um, while being still conflicted with, like, the other girls. And, I mean, technically it's bad for him if she has success because then she won't be a rented girlfriend anymore when she quits the job because she has um, success as actress. But, I mean, in at the, end, at the end of the day, it's not about, like, what's good for him. He knows that it's good. It's what's good for her and that's what he wants to support, right? So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, otherwise, other than that, it's like a very slow episode. Nothing much happened, really. It's just like Kazuya worrying about him not having Shizuru anymore as rented girlfriend when she has success. Then the play, and then the end where she's down and he um tries to cheer her up again, and that's basically the episode. Yep, <laughs> and I have to talk four minutes about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is like one-fifth of the episode um, but yeah thanks for watching I really appreciate it if you like what you saw leave a like stop or comment I would really appreciate it it would really help me and yeah till next time bye bye